how do you switch between your personal and your business profiles on Facebook? And that's exactly what we're going to take a look at today. And this has changed since the last time I showed it to you. Before that video about domain names and the scam that, that rocketed my video off the chart, I told you it has almost 800 views. Before that video was my number one top video, there was another video that I made that until then had been my top video. And that information tells me that I needed to make another video about this topic because it's changed since the last time that I talked about it. What am I talking about? Well, here's our featured topic today. How do you switch between your personal and your business profiles on Facebook? And that's exactly what we're going to take a look at today. And this has changed since the last time I showed it to you. Previously, you were able to click a button inside the post itself to determine who you were going to be when you posted, when you, when you shared it, when you reshared it, etc. And it still kind of works that way on the mobile device sometimes. But Facebook has completely changed how they do this. And I got to tell you, I'm really frustrated with it. And you might be really frustrated with it too. And if we have time here this morning, I'll go into a couple reasons why I'm so frustrated with it. But I at least want to show you what it's like now, how you change it, what you do about it, and then let, invite you to let me know what other questions you may have. So here's the situation. Here's what it looks like. They've changed how it was. Maybe they heard people say, this is confusing. I never know who I am. And they thought, how can we make it absolutely crystal clear about who you are when you're interacting on your Facebook page? So I'm going to give them a little bit of credit. They thought this was going to be a very helpful way to do it. And here's what it looks like now. Let's just jump right into it. So when you pull up a page, I'm using Again, I'm going to use myself as an example because I can. This is my business page called CJ Gilbert. It's my page as an author, speaker, creator. This is not my personal page. But I want to show you how you can tell. And, and here's, here's what it all comes down to. You're going to have to look at the icon in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to zoom in on this in a second, but do you see in the very upper right-hand corner of this page, my little face? That's my profile picture. That's my personal profile picture. So this is telling me that I am now interacting on this page, not as the business page CJ, but as the personal page CJ. I know I may have made it extra confusing because I have two pages called CJ Gilbert, but you know, personal business, it makes sense if you think about it that way. But here's where you change it. You have to click on your face in the upper right-hand corner, and then you're going to get some options. And here's where it's giving me the option. It's telling me that I'm, I'm right now, can you see my cursor on my screen here? Let's see. Yeah, if I put it up here, you can. So this right here is my personal profile, CJ Gilbert. It's a different picture, and I can tell the difference because I use two different pictures. And yet, if I were to click on this other button, this would switch me into my other profile, CJ Gilbert. Now, that, that can be a little confusing, especially if you don't recognize the icon or know which one's which. So you can click this button right here that says, See All Profiles. And when you click that button, you're going to get a list of the pages and the profiles that you manage. Again, I'm just showing you my own personal ones so that I can, I can have a couple to play with here. And now you can tell, okay, this one's your personal profile, probably. Then you've got your business pages. So from right here, I can choose how I want to interact with Facebook. Who do I want to be? Right now, I'm personal, CJ. But if I click this option right here, CJ Gilbert, I will become business page, CJ Gilbert. If I click this third one right here, I will become my Jungle Studios profile. So when you click that, let's pretend I'm clicking the CJ Gilbert one, the second one right here, my business page. When you click that, the whole screen is going to blank and change and switch itself around. And there's going to be a graphic and it's trying to show you, you are switching, you are changing. Woo. 
Now you are your business page. Now look at the picture in the upper right hand corner. I know it's very little, but on your screen, maybe you can tell that it's the same. Now I can see that the picture in the upper right hand corner is the same as this guy right here on the CJ Gilbert business page. Now it's the same icon. Now we can see that it's legitimately the same and I'm, I'm my business page right now. And it actually tells you that in the bottom left hand corner, it says you are now interacting as the CJ Gilbert page. Well, we could do the same thing again. Instead of clicking the CJ Gilbert line, what if I click the Jungle Studios line? Again, you're gonna see the same magic transformation, zoop, 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 zoop. You are now interacting as Jungle Studios website design. And now you can see it's my it's my logo in the upper right hand corner. Do you see this guy up here? That's my that's my chameleon. That's my Jungle Studios lizard chameleon right up there, which you can see is the exact same as my logo here. So now I'm interacting as Jungle Studios. Now, if you click the Facebook icon in the upper left hand corner, you go back to your home page. It's no longer your personal home page. Now it's your business feed. Now you're interacting with Facebook as your business page. And any posts that you see on your feed are going to be the ones that you follow or you subscribe to as your business page. So this is the whole key. You are going to want to always check the icon in the upper right hand corner. That's going to tell you who and how you're interacting with Facebook, either your personal page or your business page. And then back to this box again that I showed you a few minutes ago, they offer you a quick way back. So you can see here, I'm now interacting as CJ Gilbert or uh, the business, the business CJ Gilbert. And over on this side, I'm now interacting as Jungle Studios. And you can see that it matches the, the icon it's showing in the corner. But also notice the second button right here in both spots. It's offering me a way to switch back to my CJ Gilbert personal page. So if I were to click that button, I don't have to go back to the see all profiles window. So the idea here is if you're your personal page, you can click it once, zoop, you've turned into your business page. You can come back to it. You can click it again, whoop, and now you're back to your personal page. If you only have two pages, you're just going to get those two options. I have a bunch of pages. It's always more complicated on my side because I'm the web geek. I have to play with all the buttons and click all the things, right? But I do that to show you this is how it's done, and this is where you're changing it, and this is going to tell you who and how you're interacting with on Facebook. Does that help? I hope that helps you. I hope that that lets you know now where to look and, and how to interact with your page better. But I'll let you know, it still causes frustration for me because, because here's, here's what I want. I want the ability, even when I'm act, interacting as my personal profile, I still want the ability to post and share things to my business pages. And here's the frustration I'm having right now. They've taken that away from us. Facebook, give it back. Give it back. I still want to be CJ the person scrolling through all the memes and cartoons and stuff that I subscribe to. And I want the ability to share one of those over to my business page because here's what's happening now. I now see a really cute cartoon involving music or it's a joke or whatever. And I want to immediately share that to my music page but I don't have the option. And if I switch into my music page at that moment, that post I'm looking at goes away because it was associated with my personal page. Do you hear me, Facebook? That's the frustration I have right now with you is I can't share from my personal over to any of my business pages anymore. I can't do that. You've taken it away from me. Now, here's your side note. On the mobile phone, you still can do that. On the mobile phone, it still does give you that option to share to a page, share to a profile, share to a group, and then choose which one you're doing that on. They took it away from us in the desktop view. So once again, today's topic is mainly about what it looks like on that desktop view. And yet, it looks very, very similar on the mobile view. You can also completely switch into your business profile and now everything is different. But again, 
it will still show you in the upper right hand corner who you're interacting as. So I hope this helps you. Let me know. Let me know if this helps you. Let me know if you now know where to go to look and where to go to change who you're interacting as. And once again, you're going to keep checking that upper right hand corner. The logo and the picture are going to tell you which profile or page you are now interacting as. And then if you've become your business page, either on purpose or accidentally, you go back to the same spot and you click the second button because that second button, chances are, is your personal profile again, just like it's showing us right here. And then you click that and then it's going to go whoop. You are now interacting as your personal profile. Let me know what questions you have. Leave me a comment underneath this video. Join our Facebook group. Let me know what other situations that you're running into. And if none of that helps, if you still need more help, reach out to me. I would be very pleased to help you. I offer private coaching. We can do an hour of coaching or more. I even offer coaching by the half hour or by the quarter hour. If you're like, CJ, let's schedule 15 minutes and you can show me how to do this. One, two, three, and I can help you move forward in your web jungle this week. Here's my number. Here's my email. Feel free to reach out anytime. I would love to schedule that time with you and help you in any way that we can. Take this moment to catch a break too. This is the kind of stuff that gets edited out. Edited out of the show. Zoop, whoop, zoop, zoop, zoop. Wow, the time goes fast. That was another good program. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. Let us know how we can help you. Leave me a comment, leave me a post, invite someone else to join the group. And we're really pleased to help you in any way that we can. Make it a good one. We'll see you next time on Ask a Web Geek. The internet's a jungle. Roar! One step at a time. Slow steps count. Sometimes a slow step is all you can do. So just keep moving forward one step at a time. <laughs> see you next time. Zoop.